The first thing you notice at Mainville Elementary School is who you don't see, what you don't hear, that sound that makes a school alive. Thank you. This is where Mainville's former students go now. All of Little Miami School District's elementary students from 98 square miles come here. A thousand young children crowded the old high school. Yep, those rhyme. What else, Tyler? Sitting through much larger reading groups in Mrs. McCumber's second grade. Got two ants splitting some pieces. We're really doing the best with what we have, but it's coming to a point where our education, you know, it is struggling. Struggling because of some new math. The district is $11 million in debt. Taxpayers have turned down eight school levies in a row. But the I teams found some other numbers that don't add up. The district spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to fix up three schools and then shut them. Public records show the school district used an energy conservation program run by the state to fund improvements supposed to save money on power bills. Mainville Elementary got a new roof and new windows just last fall that now reflect an empty schoolyard. The building shut in June. Harlan Butlerville got air conditioning. Morrow got HVAC upgrades. Both sit empty. The energy savings from the renovations lost. It's a waste of money, yes. Local taxpayer Kirk Spencer says he's astonished at what those records reveal. It's really stupid. I mean, they just spent money that went nowhere. It's, it's just hard to fathom. Spencer is especially peeved about the cost of the roofs. These records from the consulting firm the school district hired to bid the jobs show it would take more than 100 years to save enough money to make up the cost. It had way too much time to get the return on investment, and then they closed the school. What roof lasts 100 years? I, I don't know. <laughs> no roof that I know of. Um, but um, I think when you look at the package that we did, you have to look at it in its entirety. Interim Superintendent Greg Power says the improvements as a whole would have made back money in less than 15 years. And the district approved the package in 2006 with booming enrollment before housing and the economy tumbled before the no signs and failed levies. How low can you go? Well, we're as low as we can go. So low, the state has taken over the district's finances, forcing decisions, including the one here at Mainville Elementary. Now, when those windows went in last fall, there was no intention of our closing that building. But by winter, residents were shocked to learn their last neighborhood school was shutting. I think it's an outrage. I, I think it is an outrage that we had to close the school, but that wasn't our choice. It was the State Oversight Commission's choice. The state is mandating minimum standards so long as there's no money to pay back that $11 million debt. The district is going for its ninth levy Tuesday, hoping to seize back control. We're standing on the cliff right now. I have no idea what will play out here if we can't get this done in November.